You know, I just really want to start out first of all and and say I thought Boise really played well. Um, I congratulated Coach Rippon, not Coach Rippon, he played like a coach, but Rippon after the game, um, you know, I, I think he's playing as well as what he's played in since we've seen him. We've seen him way too much, uh, but he was spot on, and they had a good plan uh, for us to beat Boise. We were going to need to be a plus, at least a plus two in the takeaways, and we weren't able to accomplish that. We are going to need to... Uh, you know, play well in the kicking game. We got a punt blocked. Uh, we're going to need to tackle well, and uh, that did not occur. Um, and, uh, you know, they threw the ball deep on us a couple times. Um, we're going to need to protect the quarterback. I mean, there's just a lot of things that uh, we needed to do better, and we didn't. Uh, some of it is uh, some self-inflicted uh, mistakes on our part. Uh, I also think that's a really good football team that we played, and they were they were ready to go tonight. And uh, we need to give them credit. It's disappointing. We should have performed better, but I, I don't want to take anything away from We got beat by a good football team, and uh, we suffered some injuries. Um, and uh, we'll are on a short week as we get ready for Hawaii, so I'll open up to questions. Okay. Yep. Because, like, again, you know, Boise was very good. You knew they mm -hmm. were, but. You know, the defense has really been struggling. What's what's wrong right now with the defense? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pretty complex uh, question that you ask. I mean, you're you're looking at um, you know whether we've got to generate some more pass rush. Um, that certainly needs to come about. Uh, and certainly, we got hit with a couple deep balls tonight, and. Um, you know, we had a really difficult time getting off the field on third down, and so we'll take a look. I think any statement I'd make right now, Robert, might be a little bit inaccurate, but, um, you know, we've got to play better. Coach, you mentioned, you know, missed tackles. It seems like mm -hmm. there's been a few more this year than we were mm -hmm. seeing last season. I guess what are you trying to do? Oh, you know what? I think uh, I, I can agree with that, but if you remember the Oregon game, we had a lot of missed tackles as well. Um, I. Like I said, Boise is a top 25 team. Uh, I believe they, they, they deserve to be there. We certainly can play better and we can tackle better. I know you talked about the third down and you mm -hmm. guys abused the field, but what, what were they doing so well to keep you the defense off mm -hmm. the field? Well, we tried pressure. Uh, they were, uh, <clears throat> you know, many times they were not third down and extra long, but they were third down and medium. So, you know, we tried different uh, uh, schemes as far as pressures. Uh, that came up short. I thought Rippon was spot on with where he went with the football. A lot of the passes were underneath passes, but uh, they were able to convert. And so we've got to figure out a way to, uh, you know, create a longer yardage situation and then we've got to generate some more pass rush and um, and then the other thing we just need to do we had a couple opportunities for some interceptions tonight now they would have been some really special plays but we didn't make any of those like you lost Tim you, you mm -hmm. to a, a look like a knee injury mm -hmm. you know what's going on there what other injuries did at least that you know of from, from this <laughs> you know what right now that's the only one I do know about um, we'll find out a lot more um uh, Tomorrow, uh, the initial um, assessment is not very good, though. Uh, but once we get some information, we'll we'll go from there. You, you got the, the young quarterback, the, the young offense, mm -hmm. beat up offensive line. When you fall in that kind of hole against them, does that kind of play into their hands where they mm -hmm. kind of tend back? And well, we certainly put we certainly put blood in the water. And, um, you know, I thought there were some things that Tyler really did well tonight. I think he's starting to emerge and play a little bit better, but there's certainly things that he's got to learn to do better, you know, when to get rid of the football and not to take some sacks. But, um, you know, we do have some young players in the offensive line, but I think we can play better than what we did also. Initial assessment, Craig, you had Kreider at, at center mm -hmm. and a bogey in there. I mean, no, you'll look at film, but – just initial reaction, think that went okay? Or? I thought there was some good uh, things we did as far as movement. Some of Nico's runs beyond him hitting a couple creases, I thought we got good movement. So we'll look at that. Uh, you know, the uh, with the feedback I got on that couple of those big runs were that we got great movement up front. So maybe that's a good combination for us. We needed more of it. I know that. Yes. How nice was it to have Nico back? Just that mm -hmm. veteran who can see some things. Well, it was great. I wish we could have gotten him going earlier. You know, um, I'm not saying that the game was over at halftime, but it was going to be a pretty deep hole for us. But we started out, came out with a you know a big play, and Nico's shown he's got more speed than what I can remember. So we, we I think we need to utilize him more. The block punt and the muff punt, was there anything mm -hmm. the boys was doing differently to, to get through? Um, we had an error on the block punt. Uh, the muff punt, I think it was a low snap. Tim didn't handle it well. So those are two, you know, 
do things you can't do. And they had the same exact thing against Oklahoma State. And uh, so we had our, we we're going to have to play well. I knew we we're going to have to play well tonight, and I thought we played marginal, I would say, at best. And I probably will, after I watch the tape later on tonight, I may even have a more negative assessment than that. What is, what is your biggest concern right now coming out of this game? Um, well, I think the biggest thing is is there's a lot of guys in this locker room. We've got some good ability, but I think we need to uh, make sure that our guys are playing with some confidence. But the other thing we've got to do is I think we're playing some undisciplined football, and that goes on my shoulders. And uh, when you play a good team like this, you need to be disciplined, and, and we didn't do that tonight, especially at the start. So I think those are some things that I'm, I'm concerned about. That's some things that we can correct, and they, they've they kind of reared their ugly head a couple times. And um, that's not been characteristic of the teams that, that I've had a chance to, to, to be around, a couple of them. But it's my 15th year, so we got to get that straight.